Hey you guys, it's your boy Flippy G back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be playing that Fight Night Champion, guys. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's really important. I'm trying to get to uh, 2,000 subscribers, so road to 2,000, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, today, yeah, like I said, we're going to be playing some Fight Night Champion. Hopefully you guys like this uh, video. And um, let's just dive on in. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action between Vinny Paz and Jesse James Leha. Vinny Paz's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Paz has got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. <laughs> Eddie, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? First of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Come on, cover up! <laughs> good flush shot by Vinny Paz. This is my kind of fight right now, Teddy. I love the way these guys are just squared up toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And you know what it's going to come down for me is whose punches are a little shorter. Whoever's a little shorter, seeing that they're fighting on the inside, whoever's shorter with their punches, they're going to be the man. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Well, he ties up there. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Vinny Paz. 
Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. A target on his head, and he places a hook right on it. Final 10 seconds of round number one. He missed with that headshot. And that's the end of round one. Vinny Paz's abs are getting too much of a workout here, Teddy. I know it's early on, but I am stunned by how many body shots he's had to absorb. And those body shots, well, the effect of them stay with you. You know, a headshot, you can shake it off a little bit. But the body shots, they stay with you round after round. Bury it away and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. Okay, listen. right back at him now hugging on the inside Move your head. he is not in good shape he could be on the deck in moments solid he goes down from a big right big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're gonna find out exactly what he's made of you can see he's trying to score up top but off the mark there good block by Vinny Paz Yet another right hand lands. Blocks the headshot. Unable to make an impact there by Vinny Pad. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. A fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Leha's just making some room for himself here. Keep your head moving. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. What? So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and side. gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being a carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Leha's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest, and also they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Once again to the head. movement helped out there he avoided that punch keep working the job Leha's now pushing away a bit he's creating some space tucks those elbows in blocks the body shot Leha's punch is far off the target pulls 
the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Leha's like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. Seems like he's clinching more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Now he has to be able to just get past this little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. Missing the mark by a mile, that just was nowhere to be found. And the round comes to an end. We gotta do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? I need more than one punch for you now. More than one. Move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. The start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. Paz is losing this fight one round to two, but keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. Well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember he can hurt him if he get back in this. Leha's been doing a very good job landing that uppercut against his opponent. Teddy, if you're his opponent, you know that uppercut's coming. What should you be doing? Well, exactly. You should move your head a little bit. Slip a little bit. Let that uppercut miss you. And then there's going to be an opening to counter right away. Fill that hole, probably with a hook. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Vinny Paz. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh, and they decide to trade there. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Leha. <laughs> seconds to go in round number four. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vinny Paz. Good work defensively by Leha. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Cover up, cover up. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nowhere close that punch by Leha. Vinny Paz's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. And that's the end of round four. Leha's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. You're not winning. You're not losing, kid. But you're not winning. We have to throw more to this guy. We can pull it ahead. We gotta fight. We gotta keep going. You got it? You gotta do it. Come on. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Jesse Leha smashed by an uppercut. Well put together combination by Leha. Jesse Leha is able to land a good, solid left hand. Left to the body. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Collin, up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So no, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. A little defense turns to offense by Leha. Leha's doing well with that hook on the inside. That can be so effective when guys are... What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. A solid left hand by Vinny Paz. Returns to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Leha's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Vinny Paz. Not able to land the headshot. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. Okay, listen. Stick close to this guy. Don't let him get too far from you. I want you to move in and kick the body. The start of the sixth round. Leha's done everything that's been asked of him right now. Absolutely everything for the first half of this fight. Can he keep it up? Keep moving. Keep Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Relax. Relax. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Vinny Taz. He clinches when he gets to the inside. How about that exchange? Big shot there. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now down for a second time. One, two, three, four, so now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he... Oh, big, big shot he just scored with. All the scorecards out. Vinny Paz is down and looks to be out. in prime form power surge here knockout winner ladies and gentlemen by, by knockout your winner the Texas Tornado Jesse James Lee